लास्ट वीक आई आज यू टू रिमेन लॉन्ग ऑन एन जी इफ यू सी इट ट्रेडिंग अबो दिस जोन एट एट पॉइंट नाइन एंड सी वॉट इट इज अचीव इट इज अचीव द हाइज अगेन एंड इट इज सीन क्लोज टू नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव लेवल्स आई होप यू ऑल प्रॉफिटेड दो इट इज क्लोज क्लोज टू नाइन पॉइंट टू सिक्स टूवर्ड्स द वीक एंड नाउ वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन दिस वीक विच पोजिशन यू शू टेक इन ऑर्डर टू मेक प्रॉफिट वी विल सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैंडलिस्टिक चार्ट एंड इंडिकेटर्स do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon do watch till the end do listen to it carefully i am going to give you the strategy towards the end of this analysis also do not miss to subscribe as missing to subscribe is missing the profits so because i share my daily analysis very early in the day with the isha session definitely it helps in your day trading decisions do not miss to subscribe the channel Let's start, and this is the daily charts, and you can find out it is formed the double top precisely at nine point six five. Fail to break past the highs out there, and you can also see see it is trying to form this double top, and if it retraces from here, once you see it dropping below nine dollar levels, rather eight point nine five, you can expect that we may see a little drop, and it can continue to trade bearish from here. Probably we can see further lows at the same time. See. this is the wave and probably it may come down till you know the distance is far away we can see it coming back to this zone which is at 5 dollar levels but ha- when it will come let's have a more detail right now though in the near term if you see the in the near term after the rise a retracement couple of red candles lower highs and then you can find out a bounce back towards the end of now i'll look forward to a, for a confirmation if it breaks beyond the highs beyond 9.65 yes you can expect it to achieve the 10 dollar levels if not this week then probably by next week it may try to attempt and achieve 10 dollar levels if it breaks past the zone at 9.65 now look at the near term trend it is bullish here it is trying to confine itself within this however the highs here are giving it a resistance for it to break pass by but at the same time the bottom of the channel are providing it a support only short entry next week is below 9.1 if you see it trading below 9.1 go short and expect it to drop then again 8.9 and below levels will come into picture and on the upside once you see it trading beyond 9.65 definitely one can stay long and then you can expect it to achieve 10 dollar levels now this is a bullish channel which it is trying to do till the time it trades above 9.1 yes you can stay bullish you can expect it to rise now also remember see a rise retracement rise retracement then this is again willing to start so yes if it trades above this probably the highs of this are at 10 dollar levels that we need to be aware of so i look forward to if it breaks past 9.65 if it creates higher highs we can continue to remain bullish on and you also look at the long term trend here in the long term trend you will find the highs are way far away and it is still trying to trade bullish out there now let's have a look at the 4 hour charts likewise on the 4 hour charts achieving the high there at 9.65 you can find out see this is the zone which you should watch out for on the downside if it breaks below 9.1 next week you can expect that first support will come into picture at 8.9 and then 8.6 level this is the level 8.6 and 8.5 you should watch out for below that it will try to attempt and achieve 8.3 if it continues to trade bearish from here now look at the last few see drop retracement bulls fail to take the charge out there and it gave a minor red candle and yes probably once it breaks below 9.4 beyond 9.4 yes you can stay long then one can see 9.4 definitely a stronger resistance beyond that you can expect 9.5 9.65 and beyond that it will fly so good long entry above 9.4 that is also very much clear out there also if you connect the dots out there see it is trying to trade within this and probably a drop below 9.1 itself is a good entry to remain short so this is what we can see on the daily and four hour chart now let's have a look at the weekly charts out there on the weekly charts see the rally retracement and the rally has begun now look at the last two candles the last two candles let's focus more on this it has left the look at this candle a bigger candle bigger size a tail and a wick out there indicates that it is still bullish then a smaller body size and you will find a tail and a wick out there 
and it is continuing to remain bullish so this candle can be bullish itself and you will find on the weekly charts it is trying to trade within this channel the bottom of this channel the lows of this channel right now if it continue if it consider the body size here you can expect it around 8.7 8.8 zone this is going to be a very strong support zone and on the upside the 10 dollar levels will come into picture so probably if it draws below 8.9.1 yes you can expect it to drop till towards 8.8 8.7 levels and how it behaves there at 8.7 is going to be important that is as it fit breaks below 8.8.6 definitely then the bears will pitch in and it will try to pull it further back till towards 8.5 8.4 and in fact it can take it further down so this is another probability till the time first of all it till the time it trades beyond 9.1 yeah and then uh till the time it trades above 8.7 it can bounce back and then one can again see a rise there a 10 dollar level should be a good resistance for it to break pass by now look at the monthly charts now look at the monthly charts previously we had lower highs in the last two candles and a flat bottom this time it is trying to break out and also the body size here if you look at the body size almost from six dollars to ten eight dollar levels almost two dollars of move and from eight dollars probably towards the month end it can try to close either it can in fact go high and then pull back and close at towards ten dollar levels that is also very much possible now consider this the one red candle and then couple of green candles probably indicates that it may continue to remain bullish next month also where it closes this month that is going to be important as we have 10 sessions left let's see what happens next week first of all the support there on the downside eight eight dollars is going to be important look at the monthly candles it is extremely bullish and those who recall my analysis must observe that see this is the high here at $15 and here at $14 and if you connect the dots here it is already trading above this resistance zone it is already trading above this zone so once it sustains beyond $10 levels we can look forward for NG to achieve the top out there as it is coming out of the resistance zone after months of wait it is trying to break out and hence you can expect in the near future or not near future but in the future maybe in few weeks few months or down the lane we may see it hitting 14 to 15 dollar levels right now we will be looking forward to the second consecutive green candle closing here at around 10 dollar levels possibly or in fact above this and then the third candle may come which is going to be further strong which might take it till towards 14 to 15 dollar levels if not next month then next to next month but it is going to come that is my expectation till the time it trades above five dollar levels yes we can expect and we can expect it to bounce back so this is what we can see on the charts now let's have a look with the help of indicate now on the indicators as i see there is a resistance there at nine point Two five levels or rather i'll say support there at 9.25 two four levels then there is going to be support at 8.8 .8, and then on the downside it is further down till towards 8.4 till the time it trades above this probably it will act bullish and then you can expect again 9.6 and 9.8 in fact 10 dollar levels can be seen directional movement is bullish stochastic is overbought here again may try to cool down a bit the MACD though it is bearish here it is trying to converge crossover for a bullish move so what can happen is the stochastic sustains the overbought level this crosses over again and then it can continue in bullish zone and this cools down so it is trying to act in this fashion RSI is flat and it is comfortable here and now look at the daily chart see it traded outside the Bollinger Bands and the Donjian channel out there it got the pull back again See it traded outside, tried to trade outside, got the pullback but at the same time the width of the Bollinger Bands has widened and 9.5 levels is going to give it a stronger resistance. Also remember on the downside, on the daily charts you can find that the support level is far below at around 8.5 and 8.4 levels and below that you can see it hitting well down the line towards 7.5, 7.8 levels directional movement so far bullish it is trying to converge let's see if it does and crosses over stochastic was overbought looking downwards here indicating little bearishness it may try to drop and then bounce back the MACD is bullish so far it is trading in green it is divergent and it is still indicating that it can continue with the bullish momentum rsi is near to 
overbought but in the comfortable zone there and look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts also it has seen the high of the bollinger bands and precisely reversed from those levels again this is the top here and if you see it here on the weekly charts the support down there from the 20 period moving average at around 7.5 which is a very strong support and below that it can try to drop further till towards 6 and below that we can fire, find the support far away it is trying to trade bullish so far directional movement is also wide apart indicating bullishness stochastic is near to top and near to overbought levels the MACD has just crossed over again and it is divergent and it is still bullish here the RSI 2 is looking upwards here on the weekly charts now look at the monthly candle on the monthly candle you can see it is trading outside the bollinger bands trading outside the bollinger bands may call for a little pull back towards the end possibly it has formed the double top now it can continue to sustain on the downside i will be watchful of how it behaves at a 9.65 levels if it continues to rise on the upside on the downside if it reverses beyond eight dollar levels you can see a very sharp break be cautious this is towards the end of the month hence you have to be cautious here directional movement is bullish stochastic is comfortable macd is extremely bullish here it is wide divergent extremely bullish rsi is again trading near to top now see those who are looking forward to see this is the extremeness which ng has seen and it is almost close to 1000 plus plus levels here on the MACD and these were the levels which it has seen so far away I think this is the time 2006 and 2000 rather 2006 this was the time when it has seen the such high levels and what has happened since then after that continuous months of break what we had seen so probably there is a chance that yes it can try to achieve still the highs and uh, may rise for next month also and then from there the reversal may start so be watchful it can try to achieve 10 dollar plus plus levels next month also but this month it appears 9.65 may give it a stronger resistance it can rise till towards 10 dollar levels and drop from there now let me give you the trading levels and strategy for next first let's talk about the levels to buy see we should trade without the bias we should just trade it as, as per the levels if it closes either way so i will give you the stronger resistance zone which you should watch out for from where it can reverse we should give the entries everything we're gonna see but you have to respect the levels as soon as it closes you have to avoid the trade accordingly so yes you can go long here at 9.318 levels beyond this you can go long and yes before i give you the further levels if you want to learn the same art if you want to learn the art of trading profitably taking right entries and right exits you can join my mentorship batch 15 days 90 minutes daily and a lifetime technical support is what you get definitely joining the session will help you become a profitable and proficient trader or else you can be part of my vip singles group else just support the cause just support the effort if you think that my work is adding some meaning to your trading you can be part of my patron group the patron link is mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my free telegram channel group so yes just become patron it is hardly anything it cost you hardly anything just support the effort out there so beyond 9.318 you can expect there is going to be the next resistance zone at 9.4 remember 9.4 9.5 and 9.65 these three levels you have to watch out for again i am saying last week also i told you the same first important resistance at 9.4 and then this zone this complete zone is very very important for ng i will look forward if it breaks out beyond this zone beyond 9.65 I will even can stay long towards the $10 levels it may achieve towards this month itself and then probably next uh, close a, a little downside and then next month onwards also you can expect a bullish move. So yes $10 levels should be a strong resistance zone for NG in fact it can try to achieve 10.2, 10.5 and 10.8 not far away since some time back when i told in my monthly analysis i think few months back when it broke out above six i told you very clearly we are looking forward to 14 dollar levels people have thought of it as a 
joke out there and they mocked and now see we are very close to 10 dollar levels yes it can reverse from here it can form a double top and reverse from here there is a possibility of it but these are markets sometime soon we may see it hitting and achieving the highs at 14 dollar levels in few months down the lane mark my words when it will happen that is the question out there now for now 9.65 is the double top which it has already achieved i will wait for it to break out and then 10 dollars is a certain on the downside where to go short yes you can go short here at 9.18 remember 9.1 very strong support here so in between 9.1 to 9.4 definitely you should be cautious below 9.1 we can look forward to nine dollar levels and below 9 it is going to get support at 8.92 and then towards 8.8 .8. very strong support at 8.8 .8 it is going to do then i will look forward to 8.7 8. .7, 8 point, i see below 8.7 till 8.5 it has got a stronger resistance zone here if it breaks below 8.8 .8, 8.7 and 8.5 levels you should watch out for this is going to be the zone of importance for us below that you can consider that we can see it forming see for next week 8.7 you should watch out for definitely if it breaks below 9.1 first thing is to wait for 9.1 to get breached if it breaks below 9.1 still you can expect that 8.7 is the support zone if it breaks below 8.7 then certain bearishness will be there it can go till towards 8.4 and below 8.4 only we can expect that bears will be there then 8 dollar levels and below that it will it is going to crash you can consider 8.4 as the level 8.4 as the milestone beyond which you can consider strong bears will come and then 8 dollar levels will be seen till the time it trades between 8.7 and 9.5 9.6 you can expect that it may give you a little swing however it will largely remain in the bullish zone so take your trades accordingly trade accordingly trade profitably trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss till the time it trades between 8.7 and 8, 9.5 9.65 you can trade only with the levels and only with the trailing stop loss let it get close let the trade get close and re-enter only when you see it trading in your direction take the trades accordingly trade profitably trade with the stop loss thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you